What is going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and welcome back to yet another tutorial on a different instruction in RS Logics and Studio 5000. So this is a very, very, very critical tutorial because we are exploring one of the uh, crown jewels, so to speak, instructions within the compute and math segment. This instruction is, of course, as you can see on your screen, is the compute instruction or more commonly known as the CPT. Now, this instruction is unique in the sense that it allows you to essentially combine the functionality of many other instructions that we've seen thus far into one simple expression. Um, and by simple, I mean, of course, it is left to your imagination, but it allows you to do uh, quite a bit of uh, functionality within this one block. Now, you, of course, don't want to abuse that uh, power and you want to keep them as concise as possible. But we'll talk about that a bit later in the tutorial. Let's jump right into the um, into the rungs. So in my first rung, I have this compute instruction, which is essentially taking on the multiplication of three different dents as you can see right here and stores them in the last one so the expression is essentially what the instruction is going to evaluate and the destination just as of, as we've seen before is going to be where the instruction stores that value now do notice that the destination for whatever reason here is actually at the top of the instruction unlike some of the other ones so it might be confusing at the uh, first glance of what's going on and uh, the other thing that you're all you're also going to notice is that there's no specifications of tags even though the are listed within the expression field there's no source a source b and so uh, so on and so forth and the reason for that is because you can use a whole lot of tags within your expression and essentially it is uh, quote unquote unlimited how many different tags you can put in and let's look at that right now let's actually make a new rung right below this one and we're going to create our own compute instruction so we're going to specify uh, a destination so let's say for example system underscore dint and let's make that something that we haven't used before for sure. So that's going to be number 20. Now, once I double click this expression field, you will notice that there's going to be this window which uh, pops up on your screen. And within this window, you can type in any mathematical expression uh, within, of course, the constraints of the uh, compute function in order to be computed to be stored in the destination field. And here you can use constants. So you, you can use, for example, 23 times 78. Uh, divided by 56. So for the most case, it's fairly straightforward what kind of commands you need to write. So all the mathematical symbols are in play. Uh, but you do have a lot of functionality which is built on top of that. So for example, you can do uh, square root of stuff. So let's say plus s you are of uh, let's say nine, for example. So the square root is a unique function to uh, RS logics, or at least the way it's written here. So SQR is not something that you'd be familiar with. Uh, you're probably used uh, to SQRT within the C++ libraries or in, uh, something like that. And uh, there's also going to be quite a bit more added. So you can use and so for example, and uh, A and D, you can type that in and you can, for example, system system dint 21 so you can end whatever the result is going to be with the um, double integer that is stored in the system dint 21 so there's a lot of flexibility as far as this instruction is concerned there's logarithms there's uh, sinusoidals that you can take there's tangents cotangents uh, pretty much everything you've learned within your calculus assignment is going to be found here so if you want to be really fancy and if you want to perform some kind of a very interesting uh, computation this is where you need to look uh, into if you want to find out more i would highly recommend if you're going to work with this instruction right click and go into this instruction help and within this instruction field set, you will notice that it will tell you all of the available commands and uh, operands that you can use as well as the symbol. So the operator is what you actually put into the field and the description is what it's going to be, uh, of course, executing. And here you have the optimal, uh, you know, for which it's optimized for a dent, a real uh, one or the other, so on and so forth. So of course, you do have quite a bit of different operands that you can use and uh, it is extremely flexible. That being said, it does come with a few um, uh, trade-offs like you've seen before. So you don't, you don't have the luxury of editing your tags. So you, what happens is like, let's say if you have uh, some kind of an issue or you want to change the system then too, well, you can't just type that in. You have to right click, go into monitor and then you can you know change the value right here 
which is of course uh, an inconvenience when it comes to uh, this compute instruction as opposed to you know a simple multiply which we could have used for these three um, that being said what else is there that I want to discuss so creation of tags is also slightly different so as you see here I'm actually typing in names and it doesn't necessarily autocomplete so for example if I want to subtract the system dent it's not going to automatically know which tag I'm talking about so I do need to be able to uh, fully name my tags the way they are already written in the program and they are of course accessible by this routine they are in fact uh, plc or this program scoped otherwise what i can do is i can browse tags so here i have this little button which allows me to browse the tags and i can double click this and it's going to essentially put that in uh, the way it should be and that will hopefully work the way as expected if you want to create a tag this is also a bit uh i guess different than what you're used to you have to click this new tag button and then here you'll have the same window as before but it's not the uh the same functionality as you would have in some of your other instructions uh, that being said i did mention that you should always be very careful when it comes to computes and the reason being is that, like I said, first of all, they're not very intuitive to troubleshoot. So, for example, if I have this square root of nine and then it's ended with the system dint uh, and then a bunch of constants are being added and multiplied by, it's not very intuitive of what's going on. So you want to avoid this as much as possible. If you have a constant computed in one value, then, you know, uh, if you need to, for whatever reason, do an and you just use that instruction unless you really need the functionality of the compute. I would highly recommend avoiding uh, creating a lot of these expressions because they are just not very simple, um, especially for someone who's not familiar with this instruction to troubleshoot. That being said, let's keep on moving. So in the first rung, I have this computer, which essentially computes the square root of nine, which is going to be a constant. Of course, it's going to be three multiplied by this 43,060. Uh, 436,346, which gives us a real number, uh, which is going to be stored here. Nothing uh, very complicated. So you can definitely use constants. You can use, you know, special functions. Like I've said, the square root, the tangents, cotangents, sinusoidals, cosines, uh, so on and so forth. There's a lot of different functionality when it comes to the compute. Next, you have, like I've said, the ands, ors. Uh, any kinds of comparisons, equals, masked bits. You can use a whole lot of uh, instructions that we've uh, covered in the compare. So less than, limits, equals, uh, greater than, greater or equal than, so on and so forth. And in the last rung, I have a combination of, once again, a whole lot of different instructions. And as you can see, it becomes really, really difficult to troubleshoot because you don't really know what's going on and what can happen really easily. This is actually what I've set up the instruction to do at the beginning. So I had one of the values be zero. So let, let's quickly jump into this. So this is a zero. Um, and as you can see, the instruction starts throwing this just weird number, which is one dot dollar sign. And uh, it's just not very intuitive in terms of what's really going on. So you start having problems with, uh, you know, this division, of course, by zero is causing you an error, but it's not necessarily throwing that error explicitly. So just very uh, difficult to troubleshoot. Therefore, I would highly recommend unless you really know what you're doing and you need this for a specific purpose, I would avoid the computes, but it does give you a whole lot of power uh, in combination of different instructions. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.